Welcome to Studio X and in today's tutorial we will be learning how to create a pixelated video look. Let's see the example. To get started, I have a video here which is a intro from a tutorial I made for my Skillshare account and it is a 4k file but in this tutorial the video I'll be making is going to be a 1080p composition so I'm just going to go down here and create new composition by clicking on this icon and I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080 and I can just call this final comp because that's going to be the final comp. There's only going to be two compositions we will be working in for this tutorial. And you can just hit OK. And now you can just take your intro MOV file or it'll be named whatever you named your file but mine is called intro MOV. And as you can see it's bigger than my composition. And what you will want to do is right click on your video and go down to pre-compose. And I'm going to call this pixelated video and you can hit OK. Double click on that comp and it's going to open it up in your timeline and go into your effects and presets and if you can't find it you can just go to window and make sure to find effects and presets. Type in CC ball action. This effect is included with After Effects. You don't need to download anything. It comes stock with After Effects. When you zoom in, you can see that everything looks kind of square. It looks like random pixels, but I'm going to decrease the ball size down just so there is some black spacing in between. I think that looks pretty good. Now I will go back to Final Comp and you can see the video right here. I will go ahead and right click here or you can also go up to Layer New Camera and I'm going to make a new 3D camera with a focal length of, um, I'm just going to make this maybe 80. So I'm going to make a focal length of 80 and hit OK. Uh, this tells you that I don't have any 3D layers, which is fine for now. And we'll just hit OK. Our next step is I'm going to right click and go to New, Null Object. And if I hit Enter, I can rename it. I will call this Camera Control. We will want to make this layer 3D. If you can't see the icon, you can click toggle switches and modes. And if you still don't see it, you can right click, go to columns, and uh, you should be able to find your switches. So let's make this 3D. Next thing is we need to parent the camera to the camera control. And what this lets you do is if you move the position, it's going to move the position. So now that these are parented together. Let's go ahead and enable 3D on our pixelated video. And now when you move around the position, you can see that it zooms in and out, zooms the camera in and out. What I will want to do is go to about 10 seconds, zoom out to where I want the framing to be, probably somewhere around here and I will keyframe the position. Next I will go to the beginning of the video and I will zoom in and while you're sliding if you hold shift it actually moves it at bigger increments. I will position this up so you can kind of see the face. There we go. And when you play it back, you'll see that it'll slowly zoom out until it gets fully in the frame. 
I will just switch the quality preview to be a quarter so you can preview it a little bit faster. Our next step is to rotate the actual video. So you can just select the video, hit R, and Y rotation allows you to pivot the image around. I think around here is pretty good. We will get an interesting depth of field once we enable that setting. So keyframe the Y rotation. I'm just going to bring this to about eight seconds and I'll set this to zero. And what you could do is you can right click on the keyframe, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And you can do the same thing for the position on the camera as well. As you saw in the preview video, as you saw in the preview video, the corners were rounded off. So I will just go to pixelated video. And if you don't click on anything, if you don't have anything selected and you double click on the rounded rectangle tool, it will make a shape layer where you can go into the rectangle path settings and choose how rounded you want the rectangle as well as the size. So I'll just scale this down a little bit and the corners look pretty good here. I will choose my footage and as a track mat, I will choose alpha inverted. Oh, wrong one, alpha mat. There we go. So now you can see if you have a transparent background and it's a corner as you can see here. Now let's do the fun part of depth of field. So let's go to the beginning of the video, change our quality to full so we can actually see uh, the focus. What I would suggest is going into your camera settings, into the camera options, just cranking the blur level to something really crazy like 500 so you can really pinpoint your uh, focus distance. So I would have to bring it much closer. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Nailed it right on the eye. So let's make blur level something like four, maybe even 500. No, that's a little too crazy. 450. That looks pretty good. We'll keyframe blur level. We will keyframe the focus distance. Let's go all the way to 10 seconds. As you can see, it's really, really crazy and wild. And for the tutorial, I also added a text layer. So I will just type in pixelated tutorial. I will go into the align, center it, make it a 3D. And I will just choose the position, the Z position on the camera control and paste it into the 3D position on the pixelated text. Let's go back into the camera focus distance and let's start cranking it until we get pixelated tutorial, nice and sharp. That looks pretty good. And I will also, also lower the blur level to maybe about 300 so it's not as crazy pixelated. And I'll move back about eight seconds and I will focus back on the actual video. Let's go ahead and move the focus distance so you can get a nice little animated motion between these two keyframes of the focus changing to the text. That looks about perfect. There we go, that's looking great. And I'll just move back a couple of times just to make sure that the focus is, the focus is really on there. Make any additional keyframes you need. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go somewhere more in the middle.
Great. That is looking perfect. This is exactly what we were looking for. And as you can see now, this basically covered the clip that you saw in the beginning. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed the tutorial be sure to subscribe, like the video and comment down below if you have any questions. You can also check out the After Effects playlist for other tutorials and check out my channel for other Photoshop, Cinema 4D or Cinematography videos. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.